Hi, this is Henry from Stoma Dent Dental Lab. Basic acrylic partial, we suggest that you don't use as a permanent partial. You would use only as a transitional partial, or maybe if a patient is on a budget and cannot afford more of a permanent partial, that's when you choose the basic acrylic partial. You probably heard that acrylic partial doesn't fit well. Well, there is a reason why. If you go with more an analog way of making partials, of course, what you have to do is that when you actually have a model, then you would bend the wire clasp, then you would set teeth manually onto the model, then you would flask it. When you flask this partial, what happens is that when you boil out, you open up, sometimes you may break off some teeth and those wire clasp, they would change their position. Plus, because there is a lot of undercuts, when technician actually try to sit this partial into the model, of course, you're gonna scratch the model and what's gonna happen at the end, you will have to do some adjustments. Let's talk about how the digital uh, fabricating this partial can improve the fit and aesthetics of your partial. So first thing what you do, you have a model with wire clasp. You place the wire clasp onto the model, then you go ahead and you scan this. So right now we're just scanning this model. So right here when we scan the model, what we can do actually, we can go ahead and black out all the undercuts. When you black out undercuts, practically the, every partial would be like a surveyed partial. That's why a lot of times a metal partial fit a lot better just because it's a surveyed partial where the acrylic, most of the time if it's processed as an analog, no one gonna survey a partial. And so therefore there is a lot more adjustments. But when we do digitally, we go ahead and survey each model and that way when we design, we can reduce those blackouts or keep the blackout and cover the undercut as much as we need it. And so the partial should fit much better. Right here we can see, do we need to reduce any of the blackout material? We can do that. Then we're just gonna go to a next step. Another advantage of that is that when you need to adjust the teeth for the fit, it's, it's gonna come out much nicer just because you can set tooth and increase the size or reduce the size exactly as much as you need it. And here you go, the partial will look much more natural and um, gonna fit better. Then in the next step, when you need to add some of the flanges or what we call the gingiva, you can add exactly as it need to be, not overly extended, but just as you need it. The flanges will not be overly extended and, uh, and you're gonna like that. Sometimes uh, some doctors or, or some patient maybe will request, I don't want any wire clasp. I can actually black out those undercuts in a way so I can get some of the retention in the interproximal areas. That way I can eliminate the clasp but still get a retention from the interproximal areas or maybe from the lingual side of a tooth as well. So with digitally fabricated acrylic partial, the fit will be greater, the aesthetics will be much more pleasing, and you'll have a happier patient.